Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new self feed drone. This is a SIM2 uh, Moment or 007 Pro. It's also branded by Oshi, so I don't know which is the exact manufacturer. Anyway, what we have in hand, we have a large self feed drone, but with the full, uh, very safe uh, prop guard system, so you can launch the quadcopter from your hand you can land on your hand without any problem you can hold like this the quad without any problem so we have a 4k camera with tiltable gimbal controllable through the application okay and able to film in 4k at 20 frames per second or in 1080p at 60 frames per second or even 720p up to 120 frames per second we have a gps gonna system assuring uh, the uh, altitude hold stabilization, the position hold stabilization, and of course we have some advanced features, flight mode features written to home. It's assumed to have a uh, follow me, okay, and even more uh, new features. Uh, it's the first time I saw uh, these features introduced in Quadcopter. We have SLAM for simultaneously location and mapping. Okay, so in theory this model is able to discover in real time a new, I would say, indoors environment and produce a map, okay? So it's a very, very hard task because it's a kind of the chicken eggs problem uh, okay, when you want to estimate uh, your environment in terms of walls, describing them, you need to know your exact position to uh, build them. But uh, to know your exact position, you need the walls to have some references. So it's a chicken eggs problem. So uh, SLAM is a very hard task in control theory in computer vision, in generally speaking. So it's assumed to have these features. I don't know how it will work. So it's already here we will see and uh, this model come with some uh, 1804 motors ESC supporting up to uh, 10 ampere but we have a 2S um, battery a 2900 milliamps power it's not a lipo it's a light AGV so with higher voltage okay per cell to ensure better flight time that wants to have something about 16 19 minutes we'll check in practice if it's true or not so uh, sounds great and this model comes after a different uh, selfie drone and the first one was the zero tech dobby i really like them so it's time to discover the content of this box okay so we have this very nice transportation bag where inside we we'll find another one okay more a carry suit okay and beneath we have the uh charger no problem it's uh if i can read outputting 12 volt up to uh, uh one ampere with the power cord and the European socket adapter. So we have this uh, nice transportation. We will have to open. Okay, and what we will find here an instruction manual and a small Allen wrench key. I don't know, probably to remove the props, some stuff like this. And here, a very small uh, printed instruction, the version 1.0, where the more important, I will say, is uh, where to download the application okay so what we show but uh, the application name is moment drone in google play for example and here you will find all the list of the characteristics okay so uh, i hope you me i will you will be able to read so um the um uh, i would say the maximum uh zone you can fly it it's uh, up to 20 meters high, it's not so high, I don't know, there is a jail fence, and up to 100 meters, at least it's uh, probably the Wi-Fi link which is limiting these uh, uh, numbers. So 10 amperes, uh, we have some 4 inch props associated with the 1904 motors, but uh, no spare props we will see, so, but it's so well protected by the prop guard that it's not a big, big deal. Okay, so other information is uh, broadcasting the signal in 2.4 gigahertz band, no specialized 5 gigahertz, and I will say there is no uh, USB tethering with uh, radio because there is no radio okay, available. It's only controllable through the uh, smartphone, your favorite smartphone. One more word, uh, the field of view of the camera is 147, okay, so it's great. Um, the chip of the uh, video is assumed to also offer electronic stabilization. We will see in practice if it's uh, true or not. So we have a USB to micro USB cable because there is a USB port. I don't know if it is to retrieve your recorded file or to flash future firmware. I'm great, but we will see. 
the uh, charger okay of the battery you will need to uh, in complement of the uh, uh, power unit and you just need to clips like this and uh, as soon as it's plugged here with the main power unit you will charge or good news you you can use your computer via the usb in this case the charging will be much more uh, longer but at least you can recharge the quadcopter the battery quadcopter in the field thanks to a power bank plugged through the uh, micro usb port we have LED leds indicating your charge okay um if you have on the battery a small button okay so if you press on it you have a sign of activity but no battery uh, no other indicator of the current amount of risk of battery uh, capacity uh, no several lights and uh, so it's a, maybe a small drawback for such i would say price so as i said previously it is not a lipo it's a LHV uh, 2900 amps powers. Now uh, the, the voltage per cell is uh, 7.6 divided by 2, so we have something by 4.3, uh, okay, and maximum, okay, so um, which is well, not not so bad, okay, so it will uh, probably offer and I hope to some better flight time. So now it's time to discover the machine, okay, and it comes folded okay so and uh, well sound in the first glance pretty light and what we can find on the main uh, central interface so it's a super long machine okay i would probably move this, uh, this stuff right now okay and from and let's discover much better so we have a long machine okay and can give you the dimension in long so compared to other selfie drum is a much much more longer one okay it's more than 15 centimeters okay my caliper is okay and 15 will say something about we have something about uh, yes a 20 centimeters long machine anyway we have the main battery connector with a lot of pads so probably there are some doubling one because it's two s we need in theory only uh three of them okay and uh, nothing much more and except on the front look that we have uh, this micro usb port okay here we're already inserted uh, sorry for the focus already inserted a micro sd card be aware in theory we need uh, for, at least for 4k a data stream at least for writing uh up to 60 uh, uh, megabytes per second so i would say only class 10 use 3 okay and uh, i would say v60 uh, or v90 will be compatible okay so be aware of your uh, micro sd card even a simple class 10 won't work in even a simple u1 won't work okay be aware of that if you want to shoot perfectly 4k videos um we have some foldable arms and it's super easy just release like this and it's done you you got it so we have the plastic, you know, it's this kind of um, very soft plastic, matte plastic, so very beautiful to touch, very uh, sensual to touch, you know, really like them, but um, the drawback of such plastic, it's a dust collector, so be aware of that, uh, you will need to clean it very regularly. The prop guard also is made on the same plastic, okay, sounds solid, uh, attach everything is the plastic, but in practice, it's not, uh, you won't crush it very easily, so it's not a big, big deal. We have these three blade, four inch props, we attach to the 1804 motors. Okay, it remind me a little bit some uh, parrot props design, you know, very with a very large central hub. Okay, but no possibility really to put your fingers inside, even, okay, even if you take it like this, except if you press, really press, uh, you can maybe be hurted, but in general, no problem for palm landing, okay, like this, and uh, really, and especially when you know that we have on the bottom side two sensors, uh, one optical camera for optical flow, okay, analysis, and while ultrasonic and it's very uh, surprising because as soon as you will turn on it you will hear emitting this um, what we call on um, this small ba acoustic bang okay to uh, probably to estimate the distance to the ground so you can hear tuck, 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 and it will uh, 
be more loud that you are far from the ground and it will start to be reduced as soon as you are close to the range it's very interesting to uh, uh, understand that we have a camera on front be aware uh, there is a, a servo inside okay here to control the pitch by the uh, application so it's not advised to push it manually okay to not damage uh, the uh, gear system of the servo built-in servo okay it's written you have a sticker that uh, don't touch it by hand don't move it like this so it's controllable through the application uh, let's give an information about the weight so um, we have uh, 295 grams okay so not so uh, super light I will say and let's check with the battery so stand alone the battery is 127 so we will reach much more than 400 grams okay it was advertised to be 400 grams and it's not true it's uh, 423 grams and well let's compare uh, the size with other competitors so I will move this box around okay to have some free space and for example I review sometimes the go look that the air selfie well uh, for me is the worst uh, selfie drone available it's just a catastrophe in any terms in terms of flight time in terms of camera no absolutely no electronic stabilization so look the size difference it's huge okay but this one is only 60 grams and I would say the first one but probably one of the best the Zerotech Dobby even with the hand unfolded it's super compact and okay and um, look the difference is huge also and another one I will compare with another one I really liked at this time but I'm still waiting the update of new firmware this is the uh, AlphaTech okay uh, from Sun, uh, Sony Tech and this one should super stabilize uh, 4K video thanks to some very efficient AES um, but the uh, follow me and visual tracking is not yet here so there we are waiting the uh, last firmware update application to have offer to enjoy this feature so um, if this one come and the update really what they advertise it could be the, my favorite one anyway actually uh, I still advise more the Adobe, but we'll see if this one will uh, be the new uh, winner. So a very large one. So uh, in terms of transportation, even if you have a nice transportation bag, it's big. It's big. Okay. Uh, even if it's foldable, it's big, not so light. So um, and uh, um, this one is also sold with the packaging with another spare battery. So you can at least have much more, plenty much more time than the Derotech Dobby, the main drawback of this one is uh, uh, the uh, flight time about five six minutes okay but even you have some mode increasing a bit for six seven but this one uh, at least double the uh, even triple the uh, flight time so uh, which is absolutely a good idea so um after the uh tour uh okay of this machine uh what i really like is the possibility to tilt the gimbal okay and uh we will see if the footage is are very very uh, good so now let's have a look to the uh, main application okay so let's start of the discovering of the application first of all at least for android you will need to type in uh, google play moment drone and this one is uh, the one to download actually this is the version um, uh, 1.2.1 .1. okay so i already installed it and uh, the first thing you will do is to connect the machine so you need first to turn on and you have to press this very tiny button here okay I will try to focus a little bit more the, the uh, application like this okay okay and it will be much more visible I would say okay so you will need to press the power button and hold it a couple of seconds until you hear the beep okay so i will uh first uh, try to uh, check after a couple of seconds to uh connect to the wi-fi and i don't know if you can hear you can hear the uh, ultrasonic sensor beeping okay so it's very you can hear the uh, it's current it's really uh proportional to the distance to the ground obstacle and the far you have the the stronger signal is emitted very funny okay so i'm connected right now and now i will run the application so the moment drone 
and of you will have the first time a tutorial video okay and you will have to skip uh, all the information but you can retrieve here this information by printing the user manual okay so you have all this information limitation in distance 100 meters 20 meters high okay and you need absolutely the first time to perform all the compass and the uh, accelerometer calibration very important so it's classic to perform the compass calibration first you will need to turn okay the machine two or three times like this horizontally until it will indicate to put the install the quadcopter now down and turn one more time uh, two or three tour like this until the calibration will indicate that is uh, successfully ending after don't forget to perform the accelerometer calibration uh, you have all the role of the button I will explain okay and and you have the possibility to select uh, mod 1 or mod 2 and etc 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 I will describe okay now one is down you have to press the uh, connect so this is version 1.1 .1. Uh, okay this is version of the 5 uh, on September September the 5 okay and you have to press connect and after a couple of seconds we have this uh, video feedback okay so um, the video feedback is good, it's uh, something in 720p resolution, so I really uh, uh, appreciate and look that, first time, you have a small angle, uh, automatically done by the uh, quadcopter itself, targeting something a minus, uh, minus 10 degrees, some stuff, and um, in fact there is no really possibility to have the machine, the gimbal, uh, tilt at zero degrees, perfectly horizontally, so you, this is a, a minimum, um, maximum uh, up tilt angle contained, so minus 10 degrees, so it's a small drawback. Anyway, it's LASIK, so let's describe a little bit the uh, main interface. We have actually, since we are indoor, we are in optical, but as soon as you will be outdoors and you will receive a nominal number of GPS, you can uh, it's turning automatically in GPS mode. Uh, this is the uh, number of satellites received. There is a small bug because there is 99 and 99 printed. The uh, remaining level of battery, okay, the uh, your current eight, the distance from the home, the quality of the signal, the, the 2.4 gigahertz control FPV signal, uh, the setting button, we explain for instant, okay. And after here we have the different photo modes, so uh, take a time-lapse uh, shooting or um, a burst uh, photo sequence shooting, okay, and uh, we have a delay, okay, to wait for selfie, for example, you can set the uh, how long you need to wait before to shoot the photos. Here uh, we have the button here is to control the gimbal, so you can apply nominally, say, try to see here in a, in a real condition, so if I press the um, button here the camera okay hope you will be able to see so you will see that the uh, gimbal is automatically down tilt okay no problem and you can even go to uh, close to 90 degrees and if you remain uh, the, the finger on the half arrow look this is the uh, maximum angle I said so um, very uh, at least uh, it's a very nice gesture to have a possibility to control the gimbal and here uh, you can turn off the control here okay one more time here is to uh, read uh, it's a gallery of button and here is not super obvious by default you can see up uh, on the main interface you can see a kind of camera so by default you are in photo mode okay so if you press here you will take a, a photos okay so but the same button is used to to shoot, uh, to start, to stop a recording, and you have first to press this button to s select of the camera, and then the trigger will now be uh, com associated with the uh, uh, time lapse. As you can see, there is a time lapse appearing. So let's discover a little bit the um, uh, other features. So by default, okay, we have the. Uh, taps button so you will need so it means that by default you will tap on the screen where you want to go and the machine itself will start to uh, uh, compute by itself for the trajectory to go okay uh, type zone and if you press here you will have more the the sticks okay it's not a full proportional one so it's more uh, i would say um, uh, each time you need to press one and you have a subdivision a sub trim okay 
and the forward direction and so on. So I would prefer to have both something more uh, also more joystick control than the uh, stick like this. But anyway, so uh, I'm not uh, in practice a great great fan in uh, how this machine can be flew, but um, it's not so bad. But be aware sometimes you will need to tap like this uh, regularly to uh, apply your current desired control. Okay, so uh, we'll uh, remove the. Uh, the, the gimbal okay so by default you have to turn this control and here this is the takeoff okay and same as soon as the machine in in the air will be the uh, landing we have the return to home and here only the follow me so we have two uh, uh, type of follow me bus detection and end gesture uh, frame so with the end gesture frame you will need to select your draw and you will try to uh, uh, s follow this uh, track okay and uh, you have to press one more time to quit the mode and if you press one more time you will have the bus detection so i don't know it's uh, it won't work because it's not in the air uh, what i regret here is there is absolutely not other mode i don't see any uh, uh, source of uh, slam so uh, it means that probably it will be introduced in the next firmware application release i hope to and um, in terms of settings what we have we have the how to uh, select the, uh, the sticks. So we have uh, mode two American hand or, Japan, or mode one for Japanese. Uh, we have the sensitivity three fly uh, speed mode. I would say primary, intermediate, and advanced. Be, be aware, in primary is very slow. So if you have some wind, um, it can be problematic. From intermediate and advanced, the machine is quite nice. Okay. Uh, we have the disc calibration. So the uh, must to do the first time you will take off. Okay. So. You will need to further the compass and the accelerometer, so be sure to be in flight surface for accelerometers, okay? And the camera settings, where uh, you will be able to take, uh, for example, the video size. As you can see, we have the different resolution. So uh, 4K in 25, uh, 1080p at 60, well, we will select some, that mode, and white auto. And for the photos, we have the different single mode or multi-shot, continuous shooting, timer shot, it's up to you. So you can have the setting for each individual here, okay? So that's great, uh, the resolution, so more than 4K, etc. in co correction of distortion, for example. So uh, it's not a super complete settings. Oh, one word, when you are here, how to exit from here, you need to press back uh, back arrow of your android okay so are um, not all features are introduced and there is absolutely no sign of electronic stabilization in at least in terms of settings and look that uh, in the fpv feedback no sign of electronic stabilization so i'm afraid uh, that the electronic stabilization is not here or maybe as only associated with the follow me because the uh, advertising is not super clear about that so um one more time we have a kind of selfie drone with not all advertised features present okay and uh, all the company now are doing that it's a real shame but what we can do almost nothing so like the uh, alphatec like the uh, zero tech dobby at the beginning uh, not all features are introduced here, and I don't know uh, how, when and how we'll be uh, introduce these new features. Okay, so um, it's time to test now this machine in the field. Okay, so um, we and uh, try to see uh, if at least uh, the uh, follow me is more or less working. I also return to um, some stuff like this and check the stability of this machine. Okay, let's go in the field. Welcome to the demo fly of the year. In two moment, okay. So I will just more in outdoor uh, condition. It's a little bit windy today, so we'll see also if uh, how wind resistant is this model. So I uh, really like uh, this uh, foidable system, okay. And you can really uh, take off this model from your palm without any danger, specific danger. That's uh, I would say the main quality of this model. That, uh, but it's large and for indoors, uh, you know, it's not maybe a super good deal in terms of size. Okay, no uh, free lunch in terms of you want long flight time, but it will take some space, okay, some some weight, no free lunch. So uh, let's start, okay, and be sure um, before to test this machine to perform the compass calibration. It's a very important step. Let's go. Okay, so we power the bottom, the camera. Uh, facing to me and I will start by long pressing this tiny central button okay until you hear the bat 
the ESC and the small ultrasonic sensor. So I will uh, start my recording, okay, and on the apps and screensaver, and I will be able to connect to the uh, main application. So um, it's connected, it's great. Start the uh, application, and we'll have to wait a couple of seconds to uh, fix some uh, GPS GLONASS uh, satellites. I'm pressing connection, okay, and uh, hmm, so actually I'm in the optical system and I will have to wait a couple of seconds. The battery level indication is still not yet very well adapted, but we have okay at least some uh, information. I will s check that the uh, camera settings are correct. So actually for the video I'm filming in the 1080p 50 each time he, he, he reapply the default one so I will select more 60 frames per second. Okay, I start to uh, select the four uh, GPS and ah, okay, the second number is probably the precision, the accuracy of the uh, system. Okay, so uh, the wind starts to raise a bit, so mm -hmm, and I will check that I, I am at least in the um, um, sensitive sensing and intermediate because it's very important. So there is maybe a small bug in terms of camera setting with the actual application. Uh, not saving correctly each time your favorite settings. One sat 11 satellites, so 1 meter 60, I guess, of precision. Okay, and as I say, to uh, exit from this mode, you have to press back. So, um, 11 satellites, it don't offer me to uh, uh, a GPS stabilization, but I should be able to take off 12 right now, so it's good. 99% uh, of the battery level, okay, and I will start recording. So first, uh, if you press like this by default, you will take a photo, okay? So you need absolutely to um, uh, press uh, the camera button to switch between photo mode, okay? So uh, my first concern about the application, it's a selfie drone, but you don't have any selfie fl drone flight mode. So it means that you will need to fly this machine like a normal quadcopter, okay? So if you want to take a photo, a picture, you will have to inverse your by yourself your command. So for absolutely beginners, it's a little bit tricky. It's just basic stuff uh, rotation to apply in the command. So it should be fixed very easily in the next application release, in my point of view. Anyway, I will press a takeoff, so uh, this button here, and uh, he said that he will take off at 1 meter 50. He will start the motor. Uh, okay, so by default, I am in the stick mode. As you can see, oh, the machine is not perfectly horizontally, I don't know why. Okay, and I will move forward. So, as I said in my unboxing video, each time you apply movement, is is not proportional, so it's erratic like this and it's not level, okay? So it's a, it's a problem. Maybe I will engage uh, a accelerator calibration. I will press the landing button and it will land on the surface, okay? So I will try to flat, find a flat surface, more or less like this, to take off and I will go to the settings and I will go to the disk calibration, okay, and accelerators. Okay, I have to press, and I will press start calibration, and it will start the calibration right now. So now I will be able to press back each time, press take off, enter, and it will take off. We will see if at least now it's level. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's even worse. Okay, I will move backward. Okay, so I don't really like how this machine is controlled. It's stable in altitude, maybe now it's start to converging. I mean GPS, okay. So it should stay in place. Ah, no, 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 it's not perfectly level. And now I switch to optical. Okay, so you can see some erratic movements. It's when the machine is switching between GPS and um, and optical. So uh, there is not um, both systems simultaneously. Anyway, it's like this. Now I'm GPS. Uh, let's uh, record. I forgot to uh, record. Okay. Okay. So now I'm recording. The machine becomes more more stable versus the accuracy. I will now targeting me. Okay. 
and I will down tilt. Oh, I'm not in the sun, so I will maybe try to be more uh, visible for the uh, uh, camera. Okay, and I will apply the down tilt. I will down tilt a bit the machine, the system. Okay. So when you are controlling the gibbet, you cannot control the machine at the same time. That's another drawback. Why don't you offer the both, okay? So now I am in the selfie mode, but you have to inverse your command. Hello, so I am in the shadow zone, I am not particularly look. At least you can see the sensitivity of the, of the camera, but the machine is stable. Okay, let's have a look how this machine fly from intermediate mode. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oops, not too far cut for the trees. Okay, if I keep press the button, it's uh, well, it's not so bad. So you can keep press on the button and it will apply a constant uh, command. At least it's not so bad. Maximum speed in intermediate mode, as you can see, is not a super fast cruiser. Okay, let's re relax and stay in place thanks to the GPS. Yes, still in GPS mode. Okay, but. I regret that the machine is not perfectly level, even if it starts to become better. Okay, 70%. The machine is a little bit noisy, less than the Verotech Dobby, but well. So let's try the advantage features. Okay, okay, begin to enter. And I will try the ingester and I will draw a, a kind of cal. What? Okay, and now it seems that it converts. I think the, the algorithm is based on this very old Viola Jones algorithm, uh, face tracking algorithm introduced in uh, well, in computer vision in 2000. Oh, oh it crashed. So wait. I have to connect. Okay, and I am in tap mode. Oh my god, so be aware if you are close to the trees when the application crashed, you can be in big trouble all the time to uh, reboot the, the application. It takes uh, 5, 6, 7 and you can be in big, big, big trouble and it resume in the tape command. So uh, the, uh, typically, actually, the first attempt to the face, face tracking is not working. So it's expected. I will maybe may, may put a more close up. Okay. Bus detection. Well, what she is doing? Okay. Whoa. Okay, it's fighting the wind, maybe. I'm too. Uh, confirm exit. Oh my God! The application crash. One more time. I will press connect. Ooh, it's not super stabilized in terms of. Okay, I am in tape mode. I have to press the joystick mode. Wow, it could be a nightmare. Okay. Here it's okay. Let's press the tab. Oh, where, where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Okay. Begin and gesture. Okay, and press. Okay, now should follow me. More or less. Oh my God! It lost the track immediately. So I will press one more time. Okay. And now at least the application didn't crash. So the. Uh, even the, uh, the basic algorithm of tracking is not uh, very working. Maybe the background contrast is hard for him. I would test the bus detection. I cannot draw anything. Well, he's doing nothing. So the bus detection is uh, detecting nothing. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, come on. It's a little bit sensitive to the wind, be aware of that. Huh? I should fly. Okay, let's attempt one more time. The, uh, the situation. Okay. What is doing? Oh my god, I can go. Oh, it's inverted. Oh, I will lose it. I will lose it. I engage, no. Return to home. 
Okay, if it's here. Okay, Whew. I would try a palm landing. Wow, as you can see, it's possible. Wow. Oh, it's not completely. Okay, stop the motors. Of course, I lost the uh, probably the the. Um, okay, lost lost control. So the application crash often. We we'll turn to the. Uh, I will try to record one more time. And make a pre from say a simple takeoff. Okay. Uh, I will say that the application is far too big. Uh, Stabilized. Well, it's climbing. Oh, now it's more holding horizontally. Yeah. Great. The why when I press, press the throttle down is he, he what he's doing? He, okay, but the throttle command is not with ah this time he decided to answer to the throttle. Okay. Anyway. Ooh, I don't want to play with the fires with the uh, Phase detection triggered. I need to be in a more open space. And when I press down, the throttle is not responding. Ah, now it's decided to and to obey to me. Okay. All right, let's try one more time. In in the altitude, the stabilization is not amazing. Huh? Uh, wow, well, it's because I'm in the trade-off between the visual. Okay, I will I'll try a more. Okay. And gesture. Okay, hello. Try to follow me. Yes, you have to. Oh, yes, more or less. But look the size of the square. At least it's try to do something. Yes, whoa. Something a little bit working, but it lost the track. Okay, oh my god. Go to land, land, land. Okay, I'm close to the trees. Wow, and he, he still had tried to find me in the track. So look, that is, uh, my God, is absolutely based on the super old computer vision uh, tracking algorithm, I guess. It's another, uh, uh, look that, I'm still in the uh, cancel. Why is the, uh, the face tracking is still active? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I will cancel um, and gesture. It's stupid, okay? Stupid to perform face tracking and why the machine is ground is on the ground. Uh, I don't understand. Really, the application needs definitely to be improved. It's uh, it's not absolutely not uh, acceptable. Anyway, I will try to one more time. Uh, I will cancel. I will press recording. Yes. Okay. I will press. I will take off. Uh, in terms of battery, 39%. Okay, so I think I'm still far from the advertising uh, 16 minutes because I think I'll, I'm playing since 7 8 minutes maximum. Let's go forward. Um, and I would say the more important, I don't see any sign of electronic stabilization. Whoa. Okay, so on the FPV feedback is not bad. Okay, we have something about 15 frames per second. Uh, um, there is no break in the Wi-Fi signal, but it's just the application crashing a lot. Okay, so, and I don't see any advanced return to home seems to work fine because uh, I applied it in emergency uh, a few minutes ago. But the um, face tracking, wow, well, it's... Uh, well, I don't know what face tracking. Okay, let's say one more time. But uh, you know, and the background is very hard. Okay, very hard task. No, no. No. And what? I, oops. What I don't like. Is you cannot do the same. You d don't have the control while you try to set your your face tracking. So it's really annoying. 
and gesture. Well, we got something here, but I don't know. Oh, look at that. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go, my friend? <laughs> you are lost. Lost into. Okay. Up, quit. And at least. Okay. The application didn't crash. So, to resume, uh, the tracking absolutely not working. It's clear. Oh, low pass, a low voltage alarm. So, I will attend, try to see what he's doing in low voltage. I will say over in place. We'll see if it's crashing or auto landing. Automatic landing. Okay, so it should apply an automatic landing. We will see. Uh, I will record maybe the last moment. He didn't want to record. Oh, ah, 21%. It's increasing. Well, why not? Low power. 15 per at 15%, it should engage. Not all landing. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. It's recording in the background. Yes, because the you have the wheel uh, turning around. So, well, it will be hard for me for video editing all this small part, but. It's like this, it's my problem. Oh, what is doing? Well, now it's stable, it's more or less horizontally, so not so bad. So, a, a 15, 14 satellite and a precision within the one meter. So, uh, maybe you need at least to collect 14, 15 satellites to have something super efficient. And the minimum altitude is something about uh, three meters. Oh, so, okay, auto landing now at 15%. So, you know what she's doing, okay. Uh, did he stop automatically the recording? Seems not, okay. So we don't see any information on the background that is recording. Okay, so you have to press manually, I guess, the end of the recording. So it's another bug, they put, she should put somewhere the uh, uh, time lapse uh, of the camera uh, somewhere else than the uh, alert information because it's overlay and we cannot see the first message. Um, okay, it's time to a uh, little bit make some conclusion about this machine. Well, I would say it's um, basically more a uh, deception, okay, disappointment than a success. Uh, really, uh, what I don't like that the application is uh, immature completely in terms of tracking, no sign of slam anywhere. I don't know where they are advertising such stuff, but there is no possibility to set. And the tracking, whatever uh, the uh, uh, body part selection manually or the uh, the other one, the uh, guest uh, reckon, is absolutely not working. And when he starts to track, he's losing the track immediately. So it's absolutely a bad, a bad one. Uh, whatever. Okay, maybe the background on my testing was a little bit hard, but should work. I think Okay, I was green and the background is a, a kind of brown or a light color, so it should work. Um, the camera is not bad, okay, and in terms of pictures and, uh, uh, and the 1080p at 60 frames per second offer very uh, smooth, but no sign of electronic stabilization. Wow, what a shame! So, I don't know, so we're also there making some faking advertisement, it, it won't be the the first company or doing such stuff, okay, but uh, the machine over mm, basically is not super stable in the wind condition is not super well fighting the wind. Uh, the flight time is something about 10 minutes maximum, okay, so uh, after it's automatically landing at 15 person. So, uh, well, more negative point, okay, so uh, we need definitively some better firmware uh, application release to have a much more stable one, to have a real tracking and maybe a sign of of slam. So if I can conclude, this machine is a little bit better than the worst uh, selfie drone I tasted. This is the air selfie. It's slightly ahead. Okay, at least in terms of uh, stabilization in uh, photo rendition and video rendition. But in terms of features or advertised features, is absolutely not here. Okay, so uh, the Zero Tech Dobby is still far away. And uh, well. So um, it's like this. So probably further later I will publish a, a second test with this one when they will publish uh, some firmware update. Okay, but <laughs> I'm not sure they will sell a lot. Okay, and uh, <laughs> not sure that the company will survive a long time if uh, the sales are not good. Okay, so um, anyway, so it, you take a risk. 
if you are really interested, uh, you can buy it, but it's uh, your own risk. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please submit and see you next time. Bye bye.